Now in a school there are classes from class 1 to class 10. The number of students in each of the class is in arithmetic progression in that order. The number of students in class 1 to 5 is twice the total number of students from class 6 to 10. If the total number of students from class 1 to 4 is given to us 462 then how many students are there in class 6. Now if you look at all the number of students in each of these class that can be assumed as a, a plus d, a plus 2d because these are in arithmetic, prog arithmetic progression and it goes all the way up to a plus 9d as for the class 10. Now if I am looking at the first equation it says class 1 to 5. You can always add a, a plus d, a plus 2d, a plus 3d and a plus 4d and get that sum. But I would suggest you to use the concepts a little bit more and say that for the first five terms, the third term will be the average. So a plus 2d becomes the average of the first five terms. Multiply that by 5 will give you the sum of all first five terms. Correct. Now similarly, what is the sum of the students, number of students from class 6 to class 10? Class 6 to class 10, the average number of students in every class will be a plus 70, which is the eighth term and twice of and five times of that will give you what the number of students from class 6 to class 10. Class 1 to 5 is twice the number of students in class 6 to 10 so you will multiply this by 2. That's all. Now when we solve this particular piece 5 will get cancelled out it will become a plus 2d is equals to 2a plus of 14d and if you go a little further you will realize a will become equals to minus 12d. Now this very clearly indicates that the common difference will be negative and the number of students are reducing from class 1 to class 10. That's the interpretation that you can make from this. If the total number of students from class 1 to class 4, now class 1 to class 4 will be a plus 3d, right? You can add all of this or you can look at the middle term which is a plus 1.5d. That would turn out to be the middle term and that can be multiplied by 4 but if you don't want to do this then we can simply add all of these four numbers and write it as 4a plus of 70. 4a plus of 3 into 5 60 sorry. 4a plus 60 will be the number of students from class 1 to class 4. That value is turning out to be equals to 462 right. Now how many students are there in class 6 is what the question is. Class 6 would imply a plus 5d is what we need to find out. Now, if you look at this, you can simply replace the value of a over here as minus 12d. Minus 12d into 4 will turn out to be minus 48d. Minus 48d plus of 6d will turn out to be minus 42d, which is equals to 462. So the number of, so the common difference will turn out to be 462 divided by 42 and a negative of that. So if you look at this, this will turn out to be 4. 2 into 1 and then 11. So minus 11 turns out to be the common difference. If minus 11 turns out to be the common difference, the first term will turn out to be minus 12 times of minus 11. That's going to be 132, positive 132. And a plus 5d is what you are looking at. So a is 132 plus 5 times of common difference, which is minus 11. If you look at this, this sum will turn out to be 77. Option B, 77 will be the correct answer for this.